In this video, we're going to take a quick look at how we can find and access um, projection files to use for Traverse PC's coordinate reference systems. So I've got a list of files that I've got uh, on my computer that I can use. Uh, some of them are CRS files. This is a Traverse PC format. Some of them are projection files that is an Esri format. And if I press F1 and bring up the uh, help topic for that dialog, I can access the coordinate reference system, uh, or I can access the PRJ files, uh, which is what I'm interested in. And right away, I see that I can access uh, some of Esri's technical support information, or here's a reference to PRJ files called spatialreference.org. And I can just say, I want to go in and get some Esri files, pick whichever zone and um, projection I want. I'm going to pull down a um, HARN for a Washington. I've already got the Oregon ones installed. And let's do Washington South. So it's just 102, 349. I'm going to tell it I want to save that as a projection file. And then it'll ask me where I want to put it. Traverse PC stores all of these in the program data. Then we drop down to Traverse PC, your version 2018, and here's a coordinate reference systems. So I'm going to give this the name that is descriptive for me. I'm going to call this uh, NAD 1983 Harn State Plain Washington South. And if you want to do that FIPS, and I can't remember what the number was on that one. Yeah, 4701. So I basically got the same name that I had inside of um, the spatial reference. So now that I've got that done, I can close it. I don't need the help topic open anymore. However, I can go back and read some more about you know, shape files and uh, projection files and how that all works for Traverse PC. Kind of up to you how, how you want to access that. But basically now, when I come in and uh, update this, I'm now going to have that Washington uh, available to me right here. And as soon as I open it, I see that's the NAD 83 Harn State Plain, Washington, uh, 4602. I'm not sure I got the right number in there in the file name. And uh, I've got all of my projection information, and I can start using this then uh, for my uh, survey. So real easy to access uh, projection files from the Internet or wherever your source uh, might be and use them in Traverse PC.